Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen where I am at Microtech and this is the first time I have woken up at Microtech and seen the habitat area here. I believe I have solved my problem as far as recording is concerned and that's actually by setting CPU affinity and so I've dedicated half of the CPU to Star Citizen and half to OBS and that will probably hurt the Star Citizen frame rates a little bit, but it'll help the recording, uh, leaving OBS enough room to do the recording uh, with the CPU. So half the cores are one and half the cores are for the other. Uh, last time it seemed that Star Citizen was trying to use a little bit more than 60% of the CPU, uh, so it'll be a little bit more constrained. That's why I say that I'll probably have slightly lower frame rates, but you won't notice. It'll be much higher frame rates at, uh, you know, on viewing, because it was horrible last time. <laughs> it was horrible last time. Uh, OBS was definitely not keeping up, and right now it's not saying encoding overloaded or anything like that, which is what I was saying last time. So, and we're gonna go back to the expo, and we'll see what it looks like uh, with this new setting. Everybody likes standing on the couches. Anyway, um, yeah, we will see how it is and whether this uh, helps the recording properly as I expect it will. So we have a new set of ships for miscellaneous. They're miscellaneous ships. Miscellaneous vendors. The Crusade, um, I think it's Crusader ships are still here, but the Anvil ships are not. Uh, someone had suggested using uh, the NVIDIA NV encoder. I do already. It's already on the GPU encoder. Uh, it's just that Star Citizen also uses like all of the GPUs. So, and I can't tell the GPU to go 50-50 on that either. So, Careful. Doors are now closed. at least as far as I know. Now, saying the affinity each time when you start the game. I mean, it's only really for uh, for recording though, so it's not important for gameplay. If you have the same processor, it'll be much smoother for you. And again, i7 4790K for me. So hopefully it looks a little bit better and it's not horrible. I look in the corner, it says 17 frames, but uh, to be honest, with my long history of playing Microsoft Flight Sim and Flight Sim 4 in particular, and also Wing Commander for that matter, I've been inured to low frame rates, and basically anything over 12 is wonderful to me. I can't tell the difference. It's, uh, it's sort of a good thing, unless I'm playing first-person shooters, in which case I'm completely incapable. Uh, so, uh... Open, open, open. Should I just try and glitch through? I can't. Why is it not opening? Doors are now closing. No! Open! Uh oh. No! Why? <laughs> hmm. Okay, well now you open, but this is not the right place, is it? Is it? Is it? The capsule will be leaving this. I don't think so. I'm gonna stay in the capsule. It doesn't have any signs to say where the expo is. I thought it was the yellow one that was the expo. Okay, we're headed back. Oh no, we're headed all the way back. Well, I'm just staying on the train now. Very snowy over here. Okay, I'm gonna stand right at the door. So it'll remember to open, hopefully. Hopefully. Star Citizen problems. It's blue this time. Wait. It's still not opening. Oh, come on. Okay, but uh, this is this is not the stop. 
Why? The last time the first stop was the right stop. This time it's not. Okay, this is the yellow one. The yellow one is the right one. Please open. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? Okay, so we have to take an extra set of elevators. I don't know. They, they sure use space wantonly. Even in... Well, no, I'm going in here. Um, so, Crusader Hall, Miscellaneous Hall. We saw Crusader Hall last time, so... Okay, up we go. So, we'll get to see how the expo is without OBS saying encoding overloaded all the time. I mean, the recording still might be messed up for all I know until I check it out later. Uh, meanwhile, Sarcism has trouble loading stuff because it doesn't have the full CPU usage, so we see this guy's feet are not quite there. Well, ankles. Um, no, that's a hulkish looking ship. I'll rent everything after uh, just identifying them. So there's the prospector. And we'll take a look. It's got Harrier-like thrusters. Wow, these are full pivot. I don't know what kind of bay it has in the back. I, I don't know where its bay is. That's some sort of jump drive probably, I guess. I don't know. It's got these side containers. And then a single seat up front. Seems, again, uh, very broad for... Well, I don't know. Maybe you got something that you need to put beside you. Over here. The Hulkish ship. Is a Starfarer Gemini. Got nifty guns. Skids. Greebles. <laughs> landing, more landing gear. Interesting. Greeble tubs. That's what I'm gonna call these. Well, it's not. Oh, okay, there is a walk in landing. Uh, walk in cargo bay, I mean. There are these. It's got these tubs. Lots and lots of tubs. I don't know what that's, those are good for yet. Well, it's supposed to be a refueler. So that's fuel. So if you never want to run out of fuel, this is your ship. Creepy looking though. It's got this sort of red motif, well, orangey red motif on the ducts. Very narrow compared to the Carrick. Uh, well, that says caution. Does that have my weight on there? No, <laughs> is that what that is? I can't go here. Mm. Miscellaneous. Uh, okay, well. Open door. We can open that door. Cannot open anything there. And this. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, well, this is a door apparently, so let's open it. And I've fallen through. Oh! I'm back outside. Docking collar. Oh, okay. So that's where it docks. I have no idea how to get into the cockpit like that. <laughs> it doesn't have signs like the Carrick does. Um, I can't see the tag. Oh, Razor. They're the razor. These are all the razors. Racy razors. Okay. Well, these are like my Merlin, but newer and probably better. Um, they're probably more dedicated to racing, judging from the airfoils and everything, uh, as opposed to the Merlin, which is a snub fighter. Uh, though this seems to have weapons as well, so maybe maybe I'm overdoing the difference here. Except they're they're probably better. Yeah, they've got weapons as well. 
This one looks... blue makes it look fancy. They're, they're obviously F1 styled kind of things. Or, you know, that basic genre. I wonder how I... yep, okay, there's nothing down here. So this time I'm not missing anything, I think. Okay, so I'll rent everything. Um, I guess... I only need to rent one of the razors. I don't feel like renting all three or anything. This is... it won't be here because this isn't the spaceport. I have to go all the way to the spaceport in order to fly stuff. But, alright, I'll cut to that for you guys. My active loadout isn't suitable for the current climate. I'm at risk of hypothermia? Seek shelter? Really? Okay, 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 okay. I'm here. Okay, open for me. Alright, good times. Uh, okay, so what I need is a computer to select my ship. Departure lounges. Well, maybe that's where we can order our ship. Whoa! I haven't encountered these little guys before. I mean, okay. I thought this was ship rentals, not duck rentals. Regal luxury rentals. Huh. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Okay, so here we could rent anything for the right price. Um, even if it's not... Uh, I mean, you know, we have the free rentals at the expo, but... These are pay for rentals with our credits, but... Who wants to do that when you've got the free ones? Okay, so, but I don't want that. I want to get the ships that I already have access to. The surface and... Uh, oh, I think these are the computers, yeah. Okay. At your leisure game. No? Planetary surface exit, huh? I'd probably freeze because of that. Okay, so maybe, maybe this is actually only for surface vessels, and that's what I'm getting wrong here. Even though they have a ship icon. Uh, this is a different lounge with different... Okay, let's see. Okay, this is the actual fleet manager with the actual... Oh, I still got the Anvil Carrick. Well, um, okay, so let's do a comparison on cargo and everything. My Avenger Titan is the one that I actually own. Anvil Arrow has no cargo, one crew. The C8X Pisces Expedition has four cargo, three crew. The Carrick, 456 cargo, six crew. Um, no cargo, one crew, and the Gladiator, the Hawk, none, no cargo, one crew. Though I still think there's a space for like a box, you know, if you do that kind of mission. The Crusader Mercury Star Runner. Uh, which we saw last time, 114 cargo, so obviously not as much as the huge Carrick. Um, the Prospector, I've got for 47 hours now, 32 cargo. The Razor X, the, well it says Stealth Fighter actually, instead of Racer, but uh, zero cargo. Starfarer Gemini, 291, and again, heavy refueling. Two crew, huh? How many crew... Okay, the Anvil Carrick has six crew. Well, it had six seats on the bridge, so that makes sense. Um, well, the one with the tightest timer is the Carrick, so let's go for it and see how that works. This is, this is certainly the largest ship I've tried to fly in here. Should be interesting. Hangar 20. Okay. I would have normally expected uh, something that big to be at a Hangar 1, or not even a Hangar. Gigantic Pad 1. Okay, um... Yeah, it's gonna be interesting trying to get out of here. <laughs> trying to set my throttle right now. Okay, they had the bay open when I was looking at it. How do I open the bay now? <laughs> That's the only way I know how to get in. If I just sneeze the wrong way. I don't even know if it can get out. Look at where the gun is. Can it actually get out of here? Oh, uh, maybe... Uh, did we walk in through the front? I think we walked in through the front, actually. 
I suppose this is the kind of ship that before you buy it, you'd read up on it and, you know, look at the pamphlet and long before you put down the money, you'd know where the door was. Oh, there! Oh, gosh. Open door. Don't crush me with it, though. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, it's gonna crush me. It's gonna crush me. Wow, that is a tiny little panel to try and have to find. Alright, but we're in. Alright. Well, on to the next crisis, which is actually getting out of here. I don't know. They, 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 they want to show this thing off, and they have sparks flying all over the place. It's weird. Okay, the pod bay. Escape pod. I guess I have to stand to control this, is that right? Or can I sit? It's not clear to me which seat is mine, actually. I would assume that I've got a seat close to the front. And... I couldn't... And there's no seat this level for me, close to the front. So maybe I'm supposed to be in this seat. Am I? Can I be? Enter pilot seat, okay. Alright, turning around. And there's like a wall right in front of me. <laughs> okay. Where's the start her up button? Up, oh, mm, no, uh, close exterior just in case, that's probably important. Oh wait, up there. Oh, briefly it said flight ready. Okay, hold on. I don't know how exactly I have to look at it. To make it show the flight ready thing, it only occasionally. See, now it's saying open exterior instead. There's probably a hotkey. I'm used to just pressing the button though. If there isn't, oh, okay, R, I think. Alright. Alright. Well, still that's weird. Very weird. Okay, open the door, please. Okay, the launch. 44,000 fuel. I've never seen that before. I can't look up. Mm. Okay, and I can't really... Okay, well... I don't know if I'm gonna fit through that. Pretty, I, I don't know. Can you open it further? Let's see. Oh, I think I hit my tail. Uh, I guess it has to be sized for me, right? Oh gosh. Oh, I'm, I'm floating back. Okay, let's menace the population. <laughs> Activate afterburner and overclock your engines. Nah, we'll cruise. Let's see. What what if I just wow, this is okay, so this is my max yaw right here. And I'm I, I'm try I this is max yaw the other way. Got to switch to max yaw left. And that's how long we have inertia there. This is pitch. So nimble, this is not, as you might expect. This is full power. I've got the... Well, it is... But I can increase the... 
the limiter here. Let's go back inside. I can't read the HUD. <laughs> Is it? No, there we go. Um, 180 meters per second right now. I can't fire stuff, I don't think. That's the afterburner they were talking about. Why does it seem like that's slowing me down, though? The trigger key is not doing anything right now, but yeah, we're in the armistice zone. Let's cruise through the city first, and then we'll try the weapons. We know all about the copious cargo hold, so that's not a big thing. It's a nice looking ship. For such a huge ship, normally uh, something that's like a big cargo ship, you know, they, they look like a bunch of containers strung together. There are no frills. This is a uh, meaner looking sort of thing. I sure hope that there are bigger ships that are more cargo looking. And we're cruising through the city because last time uh, in the video I didn't really get we're not getting great performance right now, but it's tolerable actually. Honestly, in the game, it looks more than 10 frames per second, but then, then again, maybe I'm just used to bad frames. I wonder if we would ever catch a train flying by. Hold on. Eh, I probably shouldn't wait. I'd love to try and do a job with this, but I have no faith that that's going to work out <laughs> uh, with the time that I have. Uh, I haven't had much experience doing um, regular cargo jobs, not the, deli the, the, the delivery jobs, those I keep doing. Those special containers, just a single container that you bring from spot to spot. But as far as um, trading, you know, haul try and buy something and sell it in our location at a higher price, that I haven't done much. I sort of want to try and follow the rail route and go into their tunnels, but I don't think that's going to work out. Oh god, oh god, oh no, I don't want to go this way, I don't want to go this way. Okay. Uh, we should head for the hills, get out of the armistice zone, and try the weapons. Or at least, I just want to hear what they sound like, to be honest. I I'm at full throttle. <laughs> All the way. We're getting 200. As we climb, we'll get more and more, but it feels hulky. We got a lot of turrets. Do we actually have forward-facing guns that my trigger would affect? It might not be. I might have to get into one of the turrets. Well, I guess that's why there's six crew. The why they all have seats in front, I have no idea. Well, when I press the trigger, it's not saying that I'm in the armistice zone, so there's that. Um, I'm gonna leave it on a trajectory. And hope I don't bump into anything. Okay, leaving restricted area. Okay. Yeah, my trigger still doesn't do anything. Alright. So, I'm gonna leave it head in this direction. I don't know if I can leave the seat and it'll still go. No, I think it just froze. I never tried that before, because... Why, right? Um... Is it still trending in the same direction? Oh, maybe a little bit, but that might be inertia. Anyway, let me find my way to another turret. Your vehicle name expires in 12. Thanks for the information. <laughs> that was that was helpful. Uh, oh, aft turret will do. No, any turret will be fine. Okay. My trigger is not firing this turret. Okay. 
Let's see about mapping. Ski bindings. Yes. Recenter. It doesn't have a separate shoot button. It should be the same. Uh, and the pitch in yaw does not seem to be turning me the way it's supposed to, it said it was gonna. I don't know, I don't think the turret's working. But I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm currently defenseless, as far as I can tell. Back to the bridge. I'm gonna try and land the sucker and see if I actually get hypothermia when I step outside. It's an experiment. We go to the... Oh, maybe the, the habitation deck is the, that goes directly to the lower bridge. That'll be better. Anvil Carrick. Well, this is all the Anvil Carrick. Unless there's one nose to nose with us. Alright. Let us land. Okay. Exterior view, might as well. Gear down. That's the landing gear, such as it is. Um, I'm gonna zero out the throttle here. Okay, down. What does the ground look like? It looks soft. Very plain. You can see my shadow. Seems flat, right? Okay. A little bit of a drift here, but it shouldn't be unsafe to land at this speed. Oh, that feels like we're landed. Okay, back inside. Does R shut it down or no? Um, that's what I want. I want to scroll through those. Engine off. Can I power off? Somehow? Well, I guess it's not really important to open exterior. Interesting sounds it makes. I wonder if I can get a drink somewhere, because, you know, that water thing... ...just suggests that I should be able to get a drink. Well, that's the outside. I do have very thin... a very thin suit on. Let's see. Does it give me any warnings? Uh... Yeah, uh, survival estimate 15 minutes and 43... 40... 40 seconds, 39. It's counting down. Wow, I can barely see anything. My my helmet is messed up. It's got water, it's got mist. Negative 93 degrees Celsius. I can't even see it. There's the ship. Jeez. Out here is better, without the helmet being fogged up and having water on it. Is my uh, suit getting snowed up? It looks a little bit... Seems to be getting frosted over, actually. Gosh, they spend a lot of time on the visuals. <laughs> well, uh, th there has to be some coding involved in that, too. Hmm. Give me something to harvest. <laughs> no. Feature creep. I can't see. Uh, no, I can sort of still see the ship there. Yep, okay. Climbing the mountain. It doesn't say that I'm uh, 
Uh, well, no, that's because I'm external. Here, 14 minutes. Well, I've, I've got an indicator there for where the Carrick is, so that's cheating. Uh, it can still make out its form. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting chilly out here. Visually very chilly. Oh, is that the face I picked? <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, so this is interesting. I've had my... I think I've had my fun with the Carrick. I don't think... Uh, we couldn't do Pew Pew. And as far as actually hauling cargo, I think that's probably going to be more tedious than I would like it to be at this point. Uh, so I'll try some of the other ships in other videos, but this has been a little bit of fun. Uh, the other ships I'll try and use for more practical purposes. I'm not going to go through all of them, of course, but especially the ones with good cargo capacity, I'll give them a go. Alright, so this has been the Anvil Carrick and Snow. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.